Installing 11 or 12 terawatts of non-carbon energy in the next 25 years is an enormous challenge. And you might ask yourself, are we up to the task industrially? Another way to ask yourself this question is, what should Detroit actually do? So let's take some examples of industrial capacity and why it is possible to solve this problem. In North America, we drink about 110 billion cans, aluminum cans, of soda every year. If you took that much aluminum and you cut those cans in half and rolled them flat and made them into the mirrors for solar thermal, you could make about 200 gigawatts of solar thermal capacity a year. So in 10 years, just taking all of our aluminum cans and taking that industrial plant and focusing it on solar thermal, you could make 2 terawatts of solar thermal energy. That's the industrial task. Another example you might use, companies like Nokia make about 9 or 10 cell phones every second. If you took Nokia and Intel and Apple and AMD and these electronics companies and you took their industrial plant, very likely that amount of industrial capacity could make 2 terawatts of photovoltaics in the next 25 years. So it's completely possible we have the industrial machinery to do it. We just have to use that industrial machinery in a very focused way really quickly to get the job done. Take for example General Motors. They used to make one car every two minutes and one transmission every minute. GM and Ford together with that industrial capacity could probably churn out one wind turbine every five minutes. That's the one wind turbine every five minutes that we need to make two terawatts of wind power. There's a great example of this from World War II. I don't really like to think of this as a Manhattan project or an Apollo project. They were science projects. Let's maybe call fusion the science project. This is more like retooling for World War II. There was a refrigerator factory that was retooled to make aircraft for World War II. Prior to World War II, America was making about 1,000 aircraft a year. By the end of 1945, they were churning out almost 100,000 aircraft a year. If, we were, if those 100,000 aircraft were these 3 megawatt wind turbines, roughly the same capacity, we would be on target. So what you really need to do to solve this climate change problem and this energy problem is have a World War II type effort, except this time North America is on the same team as Britain, is on the same team as Germany, is on the same team as Japan, and we're all doing this with a huge portion of our industrial capacity. If we do that, we can easily solve the problem in the next couple of decades.